Hey, buddy, not feeling well? Oh my gosh, I am so tired. Hey, what's the matter, champ? I got the alert fatigue, bro. Everybody. Ew. God, that's unattractive. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to round two of watching me fumble about and remove all doubt from all of my peers that I have no idea what I'm doing. I seem to be working the audio pretty good today. So there's that. Do, 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 do. By the way, get a lot of uh, questions who the DJ is of this, these mu this music. This is DJ Archwisp, everybody. Find him at twitter.com slash archwisp. It's really good, set KC. Big group in Kansas City. But now I gotta tell them to be quiet because now we gotta get started as I make the other music incredibly loud. My guests can't hear it, but I can. There, let's do that. Welcome, welcome everybody. My name is Danny Akoski. I am a, uh, a security uh, evangelist here at Splunk. Those of you who are joining for the first time, welcome. This is gonna be some, this is, this is fun. I'm pretty sure this, I'm pre, I, I think this was fun last time, wasn't it, boys? You, 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 you may speak now. You're good. Yeah, I found it fun. And I have to, uh... You know, he, he didn't sound very certain there, Tom. <laughs> well, that's how those Brits are, though. They're very fun, reserved. Fun. <laughs> the, 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 uh, they're a very reserved people, the Brits. They, they don't like, uh... You know, like confrontation, right? Like if you guys like rub each other on the subway or whatever, like you're not gonna push and shove and things like that. I think it depends where you go. There's a there's an honest north south divide when it comes to that kind of thing. Yeah. <clears throat> is yeah. It, it, is a bit it, more friendly and open. Uh, okay, so it's it, it's it's friendlier in the north and not so much in the south. So, it's it's yeah. all like Philly here. It's Some all... people's opinion. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to commit to anything. <laughs> Wouldn't want to put anyone off. Well, nobody's rubbing anybody here today. Because <laughs> we're all virtual. Uh, welcome, my friends. Uh, once again, uh, Dan Daggett, uh, director of Splunk Community. Is that your title? I know. I I I'm I'm just going to keep giving you more and more grandiose titles, like as we go along. Maybe general and uh, commandant. Too. Yeah, El Capitan. <laughs> I see no reason to correct this course of action, Danny. All right, very good. Um, yes, uh, security community manager. Security community manager here at Splunk. We also have uh, Tom Wise of Adharma Security, correct? Did I say that right? That's correct, yeah. I'm a solutions architect at Adharma Security in the United Kingdom. Also a very, very... General phantom person. Uh, yeah, general, general. No, no, it's Splunk Sore now. It's <laughs> Splunk Sore. See, we get it, but now I got to edit that out later. We and we all know I'm not I'm not gonna go back and edit this out at all. Uh, yeah, we are Splunk Sore now. That is that, that is what we are. And uh, but for those of you, it's 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 still new, right? So for those of you who don't know, and especially because the branding on the page on your screen says Splunk Phantom. <laughs> um, but uh, it is our Splunk Summer Security. And but so we got started on learning this stuff uh, a long time ago, Dan. You and I by now it seems like a uh, seems like twenty years in dog years. Uh, that, uh, that that you and I have been playing with this. It's just been a couple weeks, Danny. It seems longer. Yeah. Seems a lot, years. a lot freaking longer. Um, so yeah, let's just get let's just get back into it. For anybody who was here last time, um, we we got we got started with uh, with with uh, Phantom slash Soar, um, and uh, Dan had some games. He uh, he decides to start sending some traffic my way. I solved solved some math problems i solved uh, a couple of them i think over the hour and a half we were doing it so let's see what we can do in an hour this time hello chat i see six of you in there thanks for hanging out like 
There's a ton of other stuff you could be doing. I, I appreciate everybody hanging out and watching this. I hope you find it useful. So I guess I should probably bring up that shared doc, huh, Dan? So I can get I, all the... I didn't update the instructions in there, Danny. But um, let me add just a touch more to what you said. So after last time, I, I saved your playbook and I tore down the machine. So we're on a new instance here. Um, I have already pre-installed the app and your playbook onto this particular phantom. So really all you have to do is log in and then we can kind of talk through what we have going on today. Yeah, so now I gotta actually find where uh, where the the Splunk doc is, or the Splunk doc, the Google doc is. Um, can you send me that link again? Cause as usual, I'm, I'm woefully unprepared to actually do the thing I came here to do. Ah, here we go. By the way, everybody, uh, anybody in chat, let me know how how the audio and volume is. These things can be tricky sometimes. I don't have it down to an exact science yet. Uh, bah, 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 bah. And I, from what I can tell, my guests were critically low last time, but I have up their audio just to, just enough so that they're loud so you can hear them, but they don't not over me because it's my show. And I'm trying to click in the wrong window. Ah, there we go. Dan, Tom, you guys can see my thing now, yeah? Yep, roger, roger. Gonna assume that you can see it. Uh, all right, let's go. Let's play some games. All right, so picking up from last time. We, we had left off, we were working on a playbook or Excuse me, you were working on a playbook because you're just a couple of weeks into learning how to do playbooks. Um, it's in here. I, I think that we should start there and just kind of refresh our memories where we're at, and then we can look at what we've got going on. Uh yeah, let's go do that. Um, I was like, oh, that's that's my cue to do stuff. All right, so playbooks. Green light, green light. Uh I want uh let him struggle, Tom. I'm gonna look. I'm finding it. Uh, let's see. Playbooks label. No, I don't want that. Local. There. Uh, la, 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 la. Hi, Fava. Fava in chat. While he plays with Splunk at work. Didn't plan that. Or he's just sucking up to me. I don't know. Dude's smarter than I am. He's got no reason to suck up to me. Uh, okay. Dan, what do we do? Uh, what, uh, what am I doing? What am I, uh, what am I gonna do now? I was hoping that you remembered, Danny. Um, so well, let me see if I can, did you, is, is there any new stuff in the thing? Use math. At, no, there, we did there's that. not. Okay. No. All right. So, so from, from what we did last time, right? We did, uh, we had some events coming in and let me, I'm, I'm going to actually open up an events window over here. Sources. Yes, it is now Splunk Soar. Spoilers. Um, spoilers. So here, <laughs> top 15 events. Yeah, we have, uh, we have quite a few events. Um, and as you can see, Dan has very helpfully named them very easily for us of what they are, right? So let's just go in. So. Um, you know, basic math question, basic 2D perimeter, uh, blah, blah, blah. So, and we solved, I think, basic math. And I think we solved, well, it's right here because I'm really good at naming stuff. Huh? <laughs> oh, you remember that, do you? <laughs> this is why naming is important, people. Because when you go back a week later, uh, you can remember what the hell you were doing. Great lesson. Yeah, and you know what? Let's have a little rant about documentation while we're at it. No, it's not, we're not going to get into that. No, please don't. But you know, it's you got the platform. <laughs> you all really do suck at documentation, you know. <laughs> all of it. I don't care how good it is; it still sucks. Except for mine. Mine is impeccable. Um, so yes, we we solved basic math. Um, da da da. The and math of a rectangle. Um. Uh, math of a triangle, uh, but to refresh real quick, let's just see what we did, right? So we have 
that I remember, and Dan, correct me if I'm wrong. So here we're going to go. Here's one of the events Dan sent in. It's a basic math question, right? If you want to see what the hell it is, we go into the basic math question. And then I go into the evidence. No, not evidence. That is the wrong thing to do. I was so sure of myself. What the hell did I do? Artifact. I want to see the artifact. That's what I'm... Here we go. So, uh, yes. Go in there. So when you go into the event, you click on the artifacts. It's, a, you know, listen, you, you, you learn and you click and you look like an idiot in front of seven other people. Eight if we count my guests. Um, I, I only count them as half people, but that's fine. Well, Dan, no, you know what? Dan's a half and I'm actually going to count. I'm actually going to count Tom as one and a half because 4th of July is coming up and I do feel badly. Um, so we're, we're going to count Dan as an extra half or Tom as an extra half a person. We're going to take half from Tom. Not Tom, Dan. <laughs> hey, I Danny. My mind, Tom, I, I don't want to be nice anymore. Hey, uh, hey, uh, Danny, you're really getting away from the whole thing of this. Can you get it back on track, please? Yeah, I'm on it. Um, so determine 119 plus 390, right? That's that's the question. Question is in the details here in the artifacts. So I, how did, I, I, I've got to ask you, if you go back real quick, Danny. No, no. Uh, how did you get to that particular screen where you're only showing one of the two artifacts? Uh, I clicked on a, I clicked on one of the things. So look, I went here. I went to uh, sources, right? I did that. Sources. Like it was a serious question because I missed it last time when you go into that differently than I do. Oh, yeah. Um, how did I do that? Oh, yeah. So I just went in here and sorted and found a, a basic math question, right? And I clicked directly on it. Uh, see, but now it's changed the interface on yeah. it. Yeah. Um, up there in the top right-ish, where it says view, a summary, or analyst, mm. it, it, it starts you on summary view, and you quickly found your way out of that, which is great. You don't want to be in that. Oh. Because I found clicked your way on... into a view that only had one up. Ah, there you uh, go. I see, got you. The, I, I, the teacher becomes the student. I've yeah. never seen that before. Okay. <laughs> I don't think he needs much more direction now, Tom. No, that's it. Right, cause, cause, because what? Because because my pretty. <laughs> <laughs> I am now a licensed uh, Splunk Store expert. Uh, yeah, because I, I I went into this thing and this is that was like the intuitive thing. And I forget sometimes as somebody who doesn't know how to use these things, even the littlest little steps, like people are like, oh, how did you do that thing? Um, and that was just me looking at this thing like, what do I do now? And like, oh, look, an overview. There's probably something in there, which then brings up the basic overview. And I'm like, okay, well, maybe I want to know more. Look at this. Go to artifact. And then it brought up this thing. And then uh, I could go and click on it. Um, so before you go back to the playbook, will you click that view all where it says showing one of two? Click view all and show the audience the other artifact as well. Because that's, that's the one that gets fed into the playbook. Uh, claim one of two view all. Where the hell is that? It's just at the bottom of that window, Danny, with the artifact in at the moment. <clears throat> this is what we see anyway, just above the banner where it says widgets and notes. Widgets, notes. And then it says showing one of two artifacts and gives view all in brackets. Do you, are you see in that too? No, what, am I dumb? Like where, right here? If you, uh, yeah, stop your mouse and move to the right. Oh, there you go. right there. There. Okay, listen, uh, dear, dear UX people, um, I I have some bones to pick. <laughs> um, like if this is clickable, highlight it for me. Just like just like when I went back here, and I'm, I'm uh, Danny. You probably shouldn't crap on the product. I'm not crapping on the product. I am just saying this is what I want. I want if it's clickable. To be able to go into it. But I mean, if you just went into the analyst view and then clicked artifacts, it usually shows you everything. Yeah. So I, I think it's just because you've selected obviously a specific one. Uh, there you go, like that. Yeah. There we go. That's how it I, usually looks when you go in. I've actually seen that screen. And, and Danny, your, your transparency is very splunky. I think you're okay here. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. J yeah. J just like, okay. Usually, normally, if I go to click on something, I've been on a lot of product teams and I've, I've had a lot of chance to like yell at people about things. If I can click on this, what do you normally see when you can click on a hyperlink? See the little hand, right? You see like the little like hand. I want that. Thank you. Uh, now back to the actual show. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry, UX people. 
It's not your fault. Probably, it probably is. Uh, all right, basic 2D area. Okay, cool. All right, now what are we doing since I'm so far off the mark? Uh, yeah, we're on a different question type, but I think this is the other one you solved for. Uh, show the details. So Because the details down there, base height and shape, are, are getting fed into your playbook. The other one is for the humans. We barely like them. We, we want the details. <laughs> All right, the details. Yeah. Right? Yeah, that one. And then you were pivoting back to the playbook to show us. I just wanted to connect what's getting fed into the playbook. Oh, right, gotcha. Okay. Um. Anyway, yeah, so that's that. Is there anything else I should click on right now? No. Bye. Nope, that's fine. That's everything we need to see. I, I have a stupid gaming mouse that has a has a back click button on the side, so I keep doing that. Okay, and now, okay, so now we're back here, right? I'm getting really far away because we want to actually do something that you didn't see last time. And then we made the thing. We made a we we made a decision of like here. Let's just go into this. Can I go into that? Yeah. If you yeah, if you go to edit playbook in the top right there. That's then, right. There we go. And then click on the block. It'll there we go. Show you the configure. You could still see it in the editor, but it makes a bit more sense. Yeah. Uh, if you do this way right and then so yeah we put this in right because you had originally you tackled the basic math which was fine but then obviously dan opened up the 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 tap for more types right so we had to have a decision at the beginning that said what type of event are we dealing with and then pass it down to the relevant um path All right so that's where we are I, I, you know it's not it's not getting mired down in what we've done already uh wait what the hell did i just do uh, okay, cool. Except for it was a really good ending point. <clears throat> I think we were so. Just starting to have the discussion about what do we do as more types come in? Right. Do we just keep expanding this? Like that, that's kind of where the conversation was going. And, and so now if you go back and look at the sources, I, I've put a bunch in there that the floodgates are not on today, Danny. No. But I just set some in there that won't expire for you that we can just look at and we can talk about this. And, and I thought it might be more interesting to start with, maybe we can talk about how we would design this just a little bit. Um, and when I say we, I mean, Tom, like I'm just giving ideas here. Um, but I, I threw a bunch of different question types in here, right? So we've dealt with two of them, the 2D area ones and the basic math, but there's all these other ones in here that we're gonna wanna deal with as well. Um, An array processing question. Oh, you've gone right for the hard stuff. <clears throat> Why not? Yeah. Uh, get rid of the artifact tags. Okay. So, in here, it's an array, right? Anybody who's ever touched code um, uh, of, of any kind knows what an array is. It's a, a bracket of numbers. It's a list of things, right? Um, so, uh, Array processing. So there's the array, right? 65, 70, 75, blah, 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 blah. What do you, what, how am I supposed to, pro like, by process, like, what am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> Look at the uh, art. Oh, is this the thing? Look at the artifact tags. Yeah, they give you little hints and stuff. So we need the product of the values in the list. Okay. I, and, and I'm not suggesting you solve each one quite yet. And unless you would like to. Um, <laughs> I, I, I guess I was more suggesting that's how you end up with like a big pile of spaghetti playbook if, if we just keep tackling these one. Yeah, that's what I don't want. Where we're going. That's what yeah. I don't want. I don't want a big pile of crap to go through, right? It's just like I was yelling about documentation earlier. Um, I, I, I don't want to have to, I don't want to have to come back to see some other analyst junk that they just kind of, put together and now because we know how that happens right we know how that happens we know how somebody does yeah. a pile of junk whether it's in documentation whether it's in like coding or uh, uh some kind of repo somewhere and they do a bunch of junk and then they either they leave or they forget and then that thing becomes a pivotal thing of something else and then you're building junk upon junk like we've all seen it happen a thousand times and i will not let it happen here <laughs> So then back up a page. Let's just look at some more of the, the, the rest of those question types. Let's get an idea of how many different types we have in here. Array processing. Yeah, I'm just going to sort my name. Oh, formatting JSON. <laughs> how dare you? <laughs> that's gross. Uh, that's offensive, Dan. Yet. What's that, Tom? Said you haven't seen the question yet. 
I don't want to. <laughs> I, I, I haven't either. No. Oh, look, my... <laughs> yeah, don't, don't, don't press that one. <laughs> oh, look, my doctor's calling me. He says I'm having a heart attack. I got to go. Uh, <laughs> formatting JSON, custom list interaction questions, basic math. So so we've done that. I, so the bottom right corner, it says 10. Let's, let's see all oh, of them. Oh, that's right. That's right. Why don't we just see all of them? Formatting JSON. Uh, array process. Okay, so... So, Tom, what I was thinking of suggesting to start with was he takes his current playbook, makes a copy of it, and, and then makes a playbook for basic math and a playbook for area, and then makes sure that those work against those two events. And then we could discuss how we might tie that together into a bigger workflow that could deal with all of this coming in at once. Okay. But I'm open to suggestion on the direction uh, and actually curious, like, how you might approach this as well. Yeah, no, you're right. I would approach this in the kind of the usual launch, or well, not launcher, but landing playbook kind of thing that would then decide what type of event was and then shuffle it onto the relevant playbook uh, rather than having it all in obviously one huge monolithic playbook, which you can end up with. So, so let's, <clears throat> let's, let's help him get there and, and then we can go back to poking fun at him. Um, under edit playbook, Danny? <sighs> Oh, and you can't see where I'm pointing, but it, it does make me feel good. And if you click that little <laughs> drop down arrow next to save and go save as. Okay, so we want two playbooks. We want one for basic math and we want one for area. And save as and And then I would like to look at your playbook listings page. You can just leave that tab open and yeah, pop a new, exactly. So I don't have to tell them how to do the basic mouse stuff, Tom. Noted. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you. Can you endorse me on uh, LinkedIn for that? Yeah, able I, to use I, mouse. <laughs> <laughs> I work with Danny at Splunk. He's able to do basic mouse stuff. 100%. House jacking yeah. plus plus. Well, well done, sir. Yeah. Um, and then show us just the local repo, like you had done before. Yeah. Right. So the first thing I wanted to make sure is that none of these were active. They're not. So they're not going to just automatically run. So now we have basic area and basic math. So pick one and let's make it just do the one thing. All right. Basic math. Okay, so you're going to want to edit the playbook, Danny. I know that, and Tom. You remember, I think it's the top path is the basic. Path. Yes. I know that because of how I named it. <laughs> I see how I led you in there. So now you just want to basically get rid of everything else and just have those two blocks in the middle, right? Because that decision at the beginning was to sort of say if it was basic or not. And we're not. We're going to leave that into a higher level, like an upstream playbook. So this one just needs to do those basic math calculations and then the answer bit. You don't even need the decision at the beginning. Now, just to, while you're deleting that, usually you would have a decision at the beginning of playbooks to make sure that it has the data it's processing is able to be used downstream. But obviously in this case, we, we don't necessarily need to do that. So just thought I'd throw that bit teaching moment in. So I'm gonna do this. So you're saying this isn't going to last long enough for his coworkers to hate him? No, no, it is. It's already happening. Try to go right here. Oh my! There's your playbook. It's your playbook, boys. That's the first warning that is, Daddy. That's a first. A yellow card. Oh, is that? That's a soccer reference. I I understood that reference. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Football. Footy. Football, yeah, real football that you actually kick with your foot. Yeah. How dare you? We kick with our foot. I, I played your version of it too, although I was the kicker, which is quite ironic, I guess. But I was varsity, so I'll take that. No, you're right. We're a bunch of wankers. <laughs> or as somebody, as somebody called our football on a message board one time when I was younger, um, armored wank ball. Like, uh, that's how, and now that's what I call it, whatever. And I am a football fan. And I'm like, no, it's, it's armored picture, wank. picture, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Definitely. All right. So here's, okay, so here's the thing, right? Nice and pretty. Yep. 
Okay, so nice. just to quickly review here, that first block is taking the fields, right, and doing some math and then submitting it in. Um, everything should still be lined up, but why don't we save it and test it against one of the basic math ones and just make sure it still works. You know, it's been a week and I noticed you didn't document too much. Hey, happy 4th of July, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be sure to send you some tea on it. Don't worry. <clears throat> Every time Tom talks, since it's closer to Fourth of July, I I hear the uh, Imperial March playing. The red coats are coming. <laughs> I mean, you really should have picked a different color than red, right? Like red's pretty easy to see. Um. <laughs> uh. Also hit the blood. Yeah, yeah. Hey, that's okay. I didn't think about that. Uh, okay, so playbook debugger. Remember, right? Debugger, I'm going to go find a basic math event. Buy the event ID. Well done. Thank you. This is, you're awesome, Danny. Thank you very you much. You just keep rocking. Yeah. I'm so a, proud. So proud. I'm, I'm a quick study. You know, I didn't it's see any red. So does that mean we're good? I guess. <laughs> or the coach just hiding. Go back to the event and have a look. Remember which one it was? Twelve, I think, right? Yep. Oh, yeah, here we go. Hey, good job. Winning. All right, so now we have that 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 with that one off that the basic math one. Yep. Yeah, and okay, so do the same thing with the area. Okay, back to basic area. I do feel like after having done this for, you know, especially I, I feel like I learned a lot more last time and now I'm, I'm considerably more comfortable with this. All right, Dan, we really need to up the pressure then. Yeah. Me and my big. <laughs> getting exactly too relaxed here. Yeah. Get, get, get <laughs> and you made talking. the mistake we all make. Get in. <laughs> I, I, I feel that just us talking is enough to add the pressure, Tom. Like he doesn't need much else but us yeah. distracting him. This is the basic area one. That's the one I'm doing. Um, to get rid of all the basic math stuff. <clears throat> is he going to know which ones are the basic? Oh, he's good. He's good. <laughs> and... I think it might be something with the naming of them or something. I don't know. I, I did think it was interesting. He didn't understand like area was the math concept. And he's just ended up math triangle. and. Wait, yeah, now I'm, okay, this was the area one, right? Or was it the... Well, they both, are they, they not both? both? What's your documentation say, Danny? <laughs> <laughs> hate this game. Oh, he went there, he went there. I hate this game. <laughs> uh, I don't know. What am I okay, saying? so you remember what the first decision is for, right, Danny? It's to decide what type of event it is. So we don't need that first one anymore. Because we're just making this a single playbook now, right? Right. But what does this decision do? Can you remember? Uh, no, but I'm going to cheat. Um, oh, yeah, it's an area, but if it's a rectangle or a triangle. Excellent. Yeah. So you just need to hook that up. Hey, voila. And now I'm going to be really annoying and do this. He's going to spend the next three minutes making I, <laughs> You think he's going to fix the naming too, or is he just going to let that hang? Shut up, Dan. Um, I'll fix it, but, you know. <laughs> well, see, now I have to. <laughs> Get them best practices in when you can. <sighs> Boring. Um, I, I, so I, I, I gave you a login, Tom, if you want to go just SLAs on him or, well, you know, while we're waiting. Oh, SLAs are a tricky one. But I guess we can talk about what we're trying to do here, right? And the overarching theory, right? Which is the modularization of playbooks. So having kind of like what, what I said a, a little bit earlier about like having a landing playbook or an initial playbook that's kind of one playbook to rule them all. Um, is generally a good way of approaching some use cases, um, if not all of them, where you kind of have this one playbook that will direct the container to the right playbook. And then all of those other playbooks will have little playbooks that do 
specific actions, you know, reputation on a single IOC or multiple. Um, but you can then start chaining them together. So every time you have a new use case or every time Danny needs to do basic math now, he can just use that basic math playbook. And as long as the, the data is the same, obviously the number fields are the same, then it's, it's, it's completely reusable. Which one did you run that one on? 13. Did we get it correct? Hey. Yes. Excellent. <laughs> and, and so now you've got a score. You've got a score of four, and you know those are both successful. Um, of course, they don't expire. There's no pressure. Um, so to what, what, what Tom's saying, I, I would suggest that the next thing would be to build the parent playbook that can act on incoming events and then calls the correct one of these two, and then we can worry about the rest of the events. I would just create a new one if I was you, Danny. I don't know because you're just going to end up deleting everything out of this one. Right. Okay. <clears throat> Very well. Uh, I, and I gotta to say, to Tom, I, I really want to have him go add in something to close the status on each one so we can watch them disappear. Is he? <sighs> All right. I agree. Shut up. Um, just log in and do it in the background for him. So, can you remember the first decision we had in, the, in your original playbook, Danny? We're going to need to replicate that here to still understand what sort of question is being handled. So I think we used, was it the container title last time we used? Because it had basic math or basic area or whatever. So you've, you've got a good memory. That was absolutely what he was searching for was title, but it's name. <laughs> right, container.name. Right, but we're one where you Sorry, no, guys. no, you stop. I didn't like it how you did it last time, Tom. Let's do this right, Danny. Let's be explicit. He he wanted you to do some fuzzy matching, but what happens if I throw you an event with that into you know, part of my name? So you're right here. The left side, container name, exact equals to two equal signs. And then let's just go back and look at one of those con those containers that has the basic <laughs> math. So we need to go get the text that's in the container name of one of those in your sources. We need to literally go to another tab. Wait. Your first one. <laughs> There we go. And then go back one. Okay, and then basic math question. Yep, and we just wanna copy and paste that name there. Basic math question. And put that into the decision block over here. In Right here? Yep. Okay, so if yeah, that's the name of the container. Time. Yeah. Ex Yes. Dan's teaching it the proper way. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, if can, uh, okay. If could your name equals basic math questions. And we might as well add in the else if now. Yeah. We, we, we know we have two of them. So exact same pattern, but for the other type. We got eight people on Twitch now, but they're they're a bit quieter today. Yeah, they're they're just watching now. I think I think they got all their heckling out last time. Now they're actually, if they're here watching it, they probably understand what we did last time. Now they're just like, all right, dance monkey. <laughs> That's fine. Interaction isn't always a requisite. It's nice. It's nice when people talk to us, but if they don't want to, that's fine too. I say the same thing to my wife. You could talk to me. It's nice if you don't. <laughs> Okay, so now yeah. we've we've got two paths for basic math questions and one for 2D area questions. So we want to have those paths do something in your playbook now. Right. So if name equals basic 2D questions, then well, then what? Then I need to make an a do an action on it. Or, or did I skip something? No, what what did we just do with... Yeah, what did we just build two of? Decisions. <clears throat> or, uh... Right? Yeah. Deci like, if it if it's one thing, do this. If it's something else, do this. It's not wrong. 
<laughs> that is the correct description of a decision, yes. <laughs> <laughs> <But> what... <laughs> Sorry. Asshole. So this is the decision that's now basically... We now, after this decision, we'll know what type of event it is, but what do we run on that event? Like, we, we, we run actions inside of playbooks, right? But we're trying to do this kind of modular approach now, so this, pa this one to rule is technically the parent. So now it'll call other child like-minded things right <laughs> i'm not gonna give you the word probably said it already though <laughs> so drag something out the side of that just the uh, decision again and in the top row one i'll give hey, you one out wait, of three wait, 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 wait a minute right we, we yeah there we go we got this because we already have the means to deal with this so let's just call it there we go you're you're a kind teacher tom i just wanted to point that out yeah. again and again, I, it's I also very hot in my voice, office because right <laughs> i don't have my fans on because it makes too much noise so now not only am i doing something i don't know how to do i'm also doing it in the 80 degree heat uh area right yeah i, I was laughing but is it pretty hot where you're at danny it's i know a lot of places it's, it's it getting there yeah basic math a heat dome or whatever yeah okay so now it calls those two and then what? Is that remember it? the debate last time? You can or don't have to. But I think Dan damn right I'm going to. I think Dan wanted you to. Where did, where did you want him to add this step though, Dan? The close. Hmm. Well, wait, well, what do you think, Tom? I, I I'd be curious what your reasonings. But it depends if you want to talk about joins or not. <laughs> I don't. Um, okay, let's do it. For those following that. along, again, uh, anybody who's just, has just joined us, we've now taken, we built one massive playbook last time, and now we've broken it down to call modular playbook so it doesn't look like a big wall of crap. So that's what we're doing, just a little recap. Um, all right, now, what were you gentlemen but saying? We're, we're talking about closing out the, the incoming events. So let's do it in each one of your child playbooks. And so you've got them open already in those other tabs. Right. And then let's cut those last two lines. So we're going to edit this thing and we're going to add in like a last step here. I see Tom smiling. He liked your choice of, uh, um, sure. That'll work too. <laughs> uh, it works, Tom. <laughs> Ask the man. It does. It, it uh, so we're going to go to API and we're going to set status. <clears throat> and let's close. Uh, and then you should connect that one to the end and just leave it, I'm gonna like, do it over here. going to the end and that block. I love <laughs> yeah, it. Hold on, I'm going to do this. My eyes I don't know. I, I, I think that I like where this is going. Oh, look at he, he joined the thing too. Perfect. Okay. So and what now, do you want to do then? Hey, by the way, uh, Splunk Sir UX, I, I want a way to like color this in. Like, uh, like in, you know, like MS Paint or something. I want a way to, like, color these little blocks in. You know, for, like, a serious moment, um, I was speaking with Ian Forrest on Monday, who's our product manager for SOAR, and he he talked about, like, an upcoming new visual editor. Like, that there's, uh, there's something coming in this area. Wait a minute. I am severely I know, messing I this it. up. I am, I don't know. Oh, oh I was looking, that's what I need. That's what I need. Oh, but it wasn't, but it wasn't. Maybe it was. I see, he's just gonna kill them all. Yeah. <laughs> Burn it all, start again. Usually the best way. Right? <clears throat> right, so, so now we're an hour and a half in and <laughs> we're almost to where we got started. Uh, so yes, one last thing, click on set status. And then on the left-hand side near the top, open up settings, click advanced. Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, icon in chat says I can change the color of the lines. That's neat, really? What? Okay, I didn't know that. How can I change the color of the lines? Don't get distracted. It's a trap. <laughs> I was like, ooh, squirrel, pretty. Screw actually getting yeah, work. Can, let me know. Yeah, work stuff done. I, I want to figure that out. I'm, I'm, that will be awesome. Uh, all right. But see, I'm now I'm head. just that I'm one. Set status. Just, just that one little thing uh, I, it has now has now screwed me up because now I'm like, ooh, line color. Um, all right, 
Where were oh, we? Wh you took it. <laughs> what was I doing? It doesn't even matter. <laughs> I, I clicked set status. Yeah. <laughs> no, hey, it does go. matter. Just, yep. Okay. And uh, click ad advanced up near the top ish. Over call. There we go. And then we're going to uncheck both of those boxes because we don't. It can only go down one of those lines. Okay. That's good. We're not even talking about why. We're just going to click save. <laughs> And then we're going to go do the same thing to your other playbook. <laughs> uh, maybe a future session, Tom. We'll have you on to discuss joins. Yeah, bedtime. Bedtime reading, right? Put you to sleep, talk about joins. Uh, I have trouble sleeping sometimes. What's the, you know, fireworks. I don't know if I like that I have to specify to edit. Like, what if I just want to, like, have it automatically edit? Like, at, automatically open in, in edit mode. Uh, no, I don't. I don't yeah, want to. No, no, no. Did, did he just try to delete the end block? No. He, no, he deleted the action. No, cancel, Danny. He did. He did. Cancel, did I? Cancel, did. cancel. Press cancel quick in the top right. Oh, <laughs> yeah, no. you've deleted the configuration for that block. <laughs> okay. So I answered my own question. Why can't we just automatically go into edit mode? That's why we can't automatically go into edit mode. Because then I start deleting stuff. <laughs> yeah. Asked and answered. At I mean, the good news is, Danny, if you had have saved it, we could have got it back pretty quickly anyway with the revision history, but it's a good lesson either way. <laughs> I'm going to mark that for one of the highlights of why can't I just do this thing, stupid... Stupid designers, and then on a, instantly. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so we want to edit this, edit this playbook, and add the set status block at the end. Thank there you, you thank you. No worries. No, I don't. Hmm. Uh, set status, set status to closed. Uh, advanced. There's no joins. It's only joins if there's more than uh, one line that connects to it. I see. Because you want to avoid race conditions, right? Yes. Oh, that's beautiful. No, I loved it when you just laid the other line behind yeah. it and it looked like it was connected. <laughs> oh my god, it did do that, didn't it? For just a second. It yeah. But there we go. Look at that! There's a line hiding behind it! I, I didn't know there's a new angle at this particular troll, but um, I'm, I'm liking this. <laughs> Son of a bitch. We just uh. keep finding new ones. <laughs> that's that's awful. Excellent. That's all, that's awful. That. All right. <laughs> all right. So now we have that. Okay. So let, let's let's do something. Let, let's test your parent playbook which i'm not sure you saved if i remember right danny uh don't know if we got that far the one to rule so yeah there we go oops sorry I don't know what button I pushed, but it asked me to update all the software I on my computer. Read the kernel commit history for Linux. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay, so here's what I suggest then. Um, let's just rerun this on one of the ones you already did. Number twelve. Uh. What? Ah, he said run it. Back in the investigations pane. The, the, yep. And then, wait, what's it doing? You said 12. Going to number 12, I believe. Oh, and then left click. I haven't endorsed him yet. Um, excellent. So it has ran again. And, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So I'm going to have you do one more thing. Go, go back to screen. And I'm going to have you add a filter on here that only shows us our ones that are not closed. So you see the status column. Yep. Let's, uh, let's just check new and open. 
Oh, that's neat. Excellent. And that's it. Okay. And, um, and then we'll just kind of keep this screen here to, to refer back to. Um, so at this point, what I would want to see is you closing out the rest of the basic math and perimeter ones, which we can do from that screen you were just on. Oh, like, gosh. I, I want to see that work. You run your parent playbook against all of them, and I want to see them all get sorted and removed from that list. Uh, okay, fine. So you can just go through and click the check boxes next to all the basic maths and area ones. Okay. Yep. And then we got them all. Yep. Oh, look at that. He's, he's on it. Go, Danny, go. <laughs> there we go. And now we just wait. That's it. Runs through them all. And I just saw it go from 14 to 8. Hey, look at that. So here's what we're left with. <clears throat> so at this point, I could turn on those two. And we could turn on polling, and as they flooded in while we're talking about the rest of it, it would just be automatically, well, if we turned it to active, we could just automatically sort those out for us. Cool. Um, we, we, we've got ourselves something useful now that we can easily build on and add in other types here. And so, wait, where do you think we should take him next, Tom? Well, that well, here's start what, throwing data at him. Well, here's um, what I was gonna say. We're yeah, we're, we're you're the guest. We are we are coming towards the end of the hour. Almost to stop, and he's talking. I wonder if they can hear him on Twitch. Can you not hear me right now? Tom, can Sorry, you? What's the, what was the problem? Tom, can you hear me? Can everybody hear me? No, I, I saw Danny talking, but I couldn't hear yeah, him. Yeah, I now. can't hear Danny at the moment, yeah. What? How does that work? Uh, so I've got no problem, Tom. Um, I was just kind of feeling you out for where we want to take him next. Um, I, I feel at some point that people are gonna be disappointed if we don't flood a ton of events in at him. Yeah, I think it'd be good to sort of see that. Oh, wait, hold yeah. on, hold on. One oh, sec. There we go. Ooh, you, I heard him. You know why? Because when I was rage committing, whatever I pushed must have been to mute my my mic within uh, Zoom. Uh, I, I love it. <laughs> he found the keyboard shortcut. I was like, I hate this. And then nobody can hear me. So anyway, what I was saying is that we're at the almost at the end of the hour, right? We've worked through now from building last time to modularizing it now this time. So this might be a good stopping point so we could do something else next time. What do you think? Unless there was something else that fits nicely into here. It, it, there is. We've got one last step, Danny. And I've just turned on the events now to come in for those two types real time. And you just need to turn pulling on on the app. And let's let it pull once and see it deal with it all real time. So two steps to this. Before you turn on polling, go to your one to rule them all playbook and let's make it active. And for those listening, making a playbook active will make it run automatically when new events come on the label that it's set to operate on there. So it says operates on events and now it's active. So any new, any new event that comes in, this will run on. So let's save that. And then we're going to go into that the automation app and we're going to turn the polling on so it'll automatically pull you in some new events go into the automation app yeah so go to apps yeah. there you go right at the top <laughs> you just click the see where it says one configured asset oh well, actually if you just put the drop down under the asset oops so one configured asset underneath there. Oh, gotcha. Just expand that out, and then you can click on it, and it'll take you to the to the actual asset. And then it's in just settings. That's it. Now, did you want to just start polling real time, Dan, or do you want to just do a big poll now, or how do you want them to try let's, it? Let's do both. Just turn it on, and then if we end up talking a bit, more will come in. Yeah. So, so um, let's go to edit, and then we're going to set a polling interval. And just set it to one minute. Oh, wait. In just settings. It's his fancy mouse, isn't it? It is. Okay. 
And okay, so now every one minute it'll pull new events in, but let's just pull them now and, and set the maximum containers to like 10 or something. And then as soon as you click pull now, flip over to your analyst queue and let's watch this. This, this should auto update as it pulls in events. And does it, is, of course, if you don't like us at all, do you demo God? Uh, let, let's go ahead and see what the polling did on that other tab, Danny. I think I had to jump a little soon. Uh, no, it added 12 new containers. Cool. So it did it. Oh, I see. Well, let's go make sure it actually closed them and dealt with all of them. Um, because I, I think it just happened too fast. By the time we jumped over it, it already closed Probably. them all out. Yeah, let's go with me. let's go with that, Tom. Yeah, that's um, the, just say it with confidence, Dan. It's all good. <laughs> click the clear button there, Danny. Boom, and we've got twenty seven events in here. Yeah, and then click closed, and yeah, they're all closed. Did, we didn't. And then yeah, we didn't have that higher numbers, did we? So they definitely nope. got some more in. And then last step, and I am done. Let's let's look at your score, and you can up your font size. So it's that URL in the shared doc. There's a URL in there for score. Yeah. I, and what I want to see is I want to see that it actually did reach back to the other servers and submit these answers. Like it closed them, but did it all happen and did your score increase? Um, and then you probably have to bump your font size to, oh, and then a slash score at the end. <laughs> oh, look at that. Mm. Right, and, and these ones weren't worth a lot, but, um, you know, as they're coming in and that'll continue increasing, like as we talk, if we talked over a minute period, it would pull in like six more new ones and solve them all for you. And cool. then your score would continue going up. All right. Yeah, awesome. Good job, man. Good job. With four minutes to spare, Danny. <laughs> awesome. Well, there we go. R round two of the uh, Splunk Store games. Of figuring out how to modulize your playbooks and get them to run and be active and auto close things like it's this stuff is pretty cool like I it's I, I don't I don't like to show for stuff that I don't I, that I don't like I don't care if I work for the place but like this is cool um so if you're interested uh Dan where can people start playing with uh with Splunk Soar, aka Phantom you can go to my dot phantom dot us there we go. Yep. I, and it'll take you to a registration. You can download the product and you could use it today. Um, the only difference is they'd only be able to do a hundred of those actions. Yep. But other than that, it'd be exactly the same as what we just showed. Cool. Um, so yeah, if you all enjoyed it, like I'm happy you all hung out and we'll probably do it again sometime soon. Um, thank you to Fava and to Icon and uh to i do things and everybody who came and hung out in in chat and watched us mess with sore and uh yeah other than that uh when we do it again i'll be sure to post something about it as always we have a bunch of other stuff coming up on this splunk twitch channel we have a bunch of other shows um but yeah thanks everybody for hanging out thank you dan thank you tom uh thanks for having me tom happy independence day to you sir happy traitors day <laughs> I'm I you know what actually my family and I are gonna go swimming and I'm gonna go buy some tea before we go. <laughs> Cheers everybody. Just start throwing it in the sea. It's, it's <laughs> Take just, care. Yeah, goodbye. Goodbye, both of you. Yeah.